The holiday season is right around the corner and along with spending time with family, we all know what that means. It's time to start getting gifts for those special people in your life. And if one of those people in your life happens to be a skateboarder, then you've definitely come to the right place. If you're new here, my name's Kendall and I've rounded up 10 gifts under $50 for that special skateboarder in your life. Kicking it off at number one, we've got grip tape. Now, not just any grip tape, I'm talking about grip tape with some type of design or some type of art element on it. For example, one of my favorite brands, Progress Daily by John Hill, uh, came out with some grip tape. I decided to snag some, and it's this cute little design, question, tradition. I love that phrase. I love what Progress Daily does, so I grabbed some grip tape. So this gift, along with a lot of the other gifts on this list, really depend on what your skater wants. If you really know your skater well, you can hopefully pick out a grip tape design that they're going to like, because there are tons of designs everywhere. Another alternative is if your skateboarder is an artsy person, you can get them paint pens, and then you can let them do their own grip art on their own grip tape. That might be the safest option if your skater is like really into art, uh, so they get to make their own, which is pretty cool. You can usually find standard grip tape by itself with no design, anywhere between five to $10, but then if you add extra elements to it, the grip tape price can vary anywhere between 15 to $20, depending on if you have like somebody local do it for you, or if you go to like Etsy or you're buying something off of Mob. It all depends on where you get it from. So the price can vary but typically it's gonna be under $50 number two on the list is a skate tool now I am very surprised that almost every time I go to the skate park someone's always looking for a skate tool for some reason skateboarders just don't carry one around I always keep one with me every time I go out to skate the most highly recommended and highly rated skate tool you're gonna see is this this is the silver skate tool silver is the brand of the skate tool not the color so you can get this skate tool in several different colors so if you know your skater's favorite color you can get them this tool in their favorite color add a little personal flair to their skate tool it's an excellent gift especially for the advanced skaters that like putting their boards together themselves uh, it's just an all-around no-brainer you can't go wrong with a skate tool moving on to item number three on the list and that's buying clothes or merch from your skater's favorite brand. So if you know that your skateboarder likes Primitive, who's a very popular streetwear company right now, either get them some socks or maybe a sweatshirt, a t-shirt from that brand. So this gift really is only going to work if you know your skater really well, if you know their style and you know the types of clothes that they wear. For me, again, personally, I like the Progress Daily brand. I have a couple Progress Daily shirts and sweatshirts. So if my wife was to get me this gift, she'd probably snag me the next drop of the Progress Daily merch. So so something like that. Uh, this one again, price is going to vary. It depends on where you get your merch from. Maybe you have a favorite skateboarding YouTuber and you wanna get some of their merch. It all just depends on where you're getting it from. Uh, shameless plug for my merch. If you wanna grab some of my merch, I'll have it linked down in the description. So you can go check that out if you're interested. Moving on to gift number four. Now this one requires you to actually build something, but it's gonna go such a long way and your skater at home is definitely going to appreciate it. The fourth item on the list is to build them a skate obstacle. Now there are a couple options depending on your ability to be a handyman at home. The two most common options are to build them a kicker ramp or a grind box. Both of these obstacles can be stored away at home in a driveway, in a garage, in a shed somewhere, and it's gonna be a great resource for your young skater to learn new tricks. When I was living at my parents' house throughout my time of being a skateboarder, I myself built three different grind boxes. My first grind box was literally made out of scrap metal and wood from my neighbor's backyard and my backyard, just kind of throwing something together. And then on my second and third iteration of the grind box, I went like, to Lowe's or Home Depot got some wood, got some angle iron, and assembled the whole thing myself. So if you're a handy person and you know how to use power tools well and assemble things, or maybe you just like doing this, uh, it's gonna be a great gift for your skater and it's gonna help them improve a lot in their skateboarding. A lot of times you can find scrap wood at some of these retailers like Lowe's and Home Depot, but if you've got to buy the wood and the metal, it's gonna put you right at that $50 range depending on how much wood and things you buy and how big you want your obstacle to be. But if you keep it really simple with a small grind box or a small little kicker ramp, it's for sure gonna be under that $50 price point. So before we move on to the rest of the list, if you're getting something from this video, I would greatly appreciate you going down below, smashing that like button, it's gonna push this video out to other people. So now that I know that you just went down there and hit the like button, let's move on to the rest of the list. 
Next item on the list is a skateboarding cleaning kit. Now there are two main components to this cleaning kit. A lot of times grip tape can get super dirty and it just looks gross and sometimes it messes with people when they try to skate. Uh, so they like to keep it clean. There's this product out there, it's called Grip Gum and it's just like a piece of this putty and you rip off a piece of the putty and you kind of smush it all over your grip tape and it gets in all the crevices of the grip and it gets rid of the mud and the dirt and it makes the grip tape look brand new again. Another cleaning option is for your bearings. A lot of times bearings get super dirty and crusty. They get moisture in them sometimes and it makes your bearings feel pretty crusty and it slows you down. There's no better feeling than a fresh pair of wheels and bearings, but you can make your bearings last a lot longer if you clean them and you lube them properly. So a cleaning kit for the skateboard, I think that's a pretty good gift idea and pretty unique. Not a lot of people know about some of these items. Next item on the list, and honestly, if there was one item on this list, I would probably choose this one and it's a tripod. Uh, if you're not in the skateboarding culture, you may not know this, but skateboarders are always filming themselves and their progression. If you're someone like me, I don't really like asking people to film for me when I'm at the skate park or if I'm just not around anyone I know. I don't wanna ask a random stranger to film for me. So if you're learning a new trick or you're about to learn a new trick and you wanna document the process, a lot of people take a water bottle or they'll find like a, a branch or they'll find a rock to prop up their phone with and a lot of times the phone ends up falling and they miss the clip and it's just a pain and I don't understand why more people don't just get some cheap tripods so they can set up their phone get the clip and be good to go you can find really nice tripods for like over a hundred dollars but most of us skaters we don't need that just keep it super simple you can find a tripod just like this one there you go, there it's three legs. Then it has a phone mount on the top so you can obviously mount your phone in it to record yourself. And something like this is gonna cost 20 to 25 bucks, super cheap and affordable. And now you'll never miss the clip again because your phone isn't gonna fall over because it's sitting on a log. Moving on to gift item number seven, and that's going to be a grip knife. Now, if you know that your skater likes to grip their own board, this is a must have. The grip knife that I use is made by Husky. It's a box cutter and these blades are removable and you can replace them. So I will never have to buy a new knife again. All I need to do is replace the blades and then the knife is as good as new and I'm good to go. Actually, my parents got this knife for me like two or three years ago and I'm still using it to this day. It comes with some extra blades so you can use them to replace them later and it greatly increases the lifetime of the knife. This is a great pickup if you know your skater likes to grip their boards. If they're inexperienced, if they don't know how to grip a board, this is not the gift for them. This is for the more advanced skater that likes the process of building their own boards. You can typically find this knife and others like it for about 10 bucks on Amazon. Moving on to gift item number eight, and I think this is another must have if you're going to a bunch of parks or you're going on a street mission or anything like that, and that's a skate bag. This skate bag doesn't need to be fancy by any means. It can just be a nice, simple book bag, but personally, I think it needs to have a lot of compartments to fit all your stuff that you need for the day. So your skate bag's gotta be able to fit your skate tool, a water bottle, your grip knife in case you need it. It needs to be able to fit your tripod, maybe some extra hardware, some extra bearings, a lot of pockets and a lot of compartments to hold all of your skateboarding needs. I know Herschel makes a lot of good book bags. That'd be a nice stylish skateboardy option, but you can just take your pick. There are plenty of bags on Amazon that have tons of pockets. So that way your skater has everything they need whenever they go out to skate. Now skateboarding gift number nine is actually like a culmination of a bunch of different small items, but nonetheless, your skater will still appreciate all of them. Now all of these items are typically in the 10 to $15 range. They're all pretty cheap, so you can consider buying multiple of these for your skater. Skateboarders always need hardware. Those are the bolts that hold the trucks to the board itself. You can get colored hardware if you know your skater likes that kind of thing, or just keep it simple and get some standard black hardware. You can also look into getting wax. A lot of times wax companies, they make their wax in different colors and things like that. It all does the same thing, but if you wanna give them, you know, just a little bit of personal flair to their wax, you can grab that as well. Bearings, we talked about cleaning and lubing up bearings earlier, but if you know that the bearings are like past repair, or you just wanna get them a new pair so they're rolling smooth again, bearings typically can range between 15 to 20 dollars for like a decent pair bearings can get pretty expensive they can get up there to like the hundred dollar range 
I don't think anyone needs to be spending $100 on bearings. If you take care of them and clean them, a $20 pair of bearings is gonna do you just fine. Wheels, that's also another really good option, but just make sure you know what size and hardness of wheel your skater rides. Some people are really picky about this. I've been pretty picky about this lately. I typically ride a 55 to 54 millimeter wheel, and I like my wheels to be pretty soft. So make sure before you buy wheels, no matter how cool you think they look, it doesn't matter how cool they look if the skater doesn't like them because they don't skate the way they expect them to. So make sure you know both the size and the hardness of the wheel that your skater likes before you go and make this purchase. So again, number nine, all of these items just are typically on the cheaper side. So you can think about getting a lot of these, use them maybe as some stocking stuffers. And the last item on the list, it's kind of a cop out, but just getting them a gift card or gift certificate to their favorite skate shop. Obviously as skaters, we would prefer you to pick a local skate shop, but if you don't know your local skate shop or if you don't have one, you know, there are always you know, big corporate shops like Zoomies and things like that. Just get them a $50 gift card. Most skateboards are over $50. They're typically in the $50 to $60 range for a skateboard deck. But if you give them a $50 gift card, that's 50 less dollars they have to spend on that deck. Or if they already have a skateboard, they can get a bunch of other accessories to go along with that board. So this has been 10 gifts for that special skater in your life under $50. Again, if you got something from this video, if you found some ideas, just please drop a like for me down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I upload every Friday at 8 p.m. If you have any gift ideas yourself that are under $50, leave them down in the comments. I'd love to know. We can have a conversation down there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.